Hey, yo, yo! Welcome to Hot Carl Action. I'm Sean Paul, and this is Carl Flarkson. So, Carl, what you got there? Oh. You're thinking this is a 1-4 jack for a headphone set? No, no, no. This is to accommodate a reset button for the NES, so you can reset at a distance. Make your selection now. Now, why would you do such a thing? Well, for games like Action 52 and, you know, those crappy little Chinese multi-carts, you need to reset whenever you want to choose one of the multiple games on there. And having to get up and go to the TV set and keep resetting every time is kind of a chore. It's not even a question of laziness at that point, it's a question of principle. So you guys want to know how to make this button? Well, homeboy Carl's gonna teach you how to do it right now. Oh yeah, and that's all you need whenever you're playing Action 52 and you realize that that game you're playing right now is crappy. Why not reset? Well, unfortunately, the button's not gonna make the games any better, but at least, hey, you won't have to get up every time, and that means you can keep your reseller weight, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, real men, they pack the pounds. <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean fat, I meant uh, pleasantly plump, Carl. Come on, don't worry about it. So that was the end of this episode of Hot Carl Action. Now remember, whatever we repair on the resellers is all real and functional. So watch the episodes and come in the comments here and vote for the next episode. Tell us what you want us to see repair or mod. And Carl, well he's gonna do it. Because we're the masters of editing our own footage. Alright. Brap brap.